Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. Rob here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get jobs at virtual conferences, especially Bhavika is going to share with you how she got her current full-time job with PwC at the Grace Hopper Celebration, which is coming up. We've got some great tips for you. Check it out. My friends, thanks so much for tuning in. Really excited to help guide you guys, get jobs online at these conferences. We've got some great tips at the very end of this video for virtual stuff as well. But Bhavika is going to share her story, her experience with GHG last year, and especially how she got her full-time job. So Bhavika, go ahead and introduce yourself. Sure, Rob. Uh, so myself, Bhavika Faldu. Uh, I am from Mumbai, India, and I came to the United States to pursue masters in IT and management uh, from University of Texas at Dallas. I just recently graduated in May with a degree in IT and management, and I am currently working as data engineer associate at PwC. And yes, as Rob said, I got my full-time job from GHC. So that's why I'm here to share my experience with you guys. Awesome, so exciting. And Bhavika was also part of the Indian Student Association at UTD where we got to help each other and her other fellow officers, which was lots of fun. So Bhavika, people ask, is Grace Hopper worth it? Or what is it like? So how would you describe GHC in a couple words and is it worth it for people? Firstly, I would say GHC is huge. Uh, like it, it was a pretty overwhelming experience for me. And I met a lot of people, a uh, lot of women who are, you know, expert in uh, tech and it was pretty exciting and I felt really motivated uh, when I went uh, to that conference. So I would say that it's definitely worth attending because you will uh, meet so many women who are, you know, expert in their area and you are also one day, you are also going to follow that path. So it will be pretty exciting as you will be meeting uh, so many, you will be having so many mentors when you go there and uh, you will be uh, networking with so many peop uh, people who are experts and definitely the, uh, the another best part is the job. So it is worth it at the end to have so many contacts and definitely have so many opportunities to interview with great Fortune 500 companies. Yeah, Grace Hopper is incredible. The networking, the interviews, the job offers. And a big question, because it's mainly a, a, a female, you know, conference, but are guys able to go? Uh, yes, I have seen, like, when I went last year, I've seen a lot of guys who are also there waiting in the queue, uh, like me, to, you know, uh, portray their background and, you know, try to get some opportunity for an interview. And I have seen guys interviewing along with me for the positions as well. So it's not like it's just for girls, but it's like it's to empower girls. It's, mm -hmm. it's to spread the awareness that you there, like, you know, there are so many opportunities for women as well uh, in the tech field. But yeah, even guys are given equal opportunities. So no need to worry about it. So Bhavika, last year, you only joined one week before is when you kind of registered. So yeah. what did you do in that one week to prepare that can help people prepare as they're getting ready because GHG 2020 is about one month away. So what can people do now to prepare ahead to get ready for this big conference? Yeah, so for me, it was just one week, but like now, uh, whoever will be watching this video, they will have one month. So it's gonna be really helpful for you guys. And firstly, I would start to update your LinkedIn. First thing you should do is update your headline that you are attending GHC. So make sure you are having your headline as uh, GHC 2020 so that whosoever is, you know, visiting GHC, uh, they will search for GHC 2020 and your profile will come up. So make sure that you are ha having that headline. Apart from that, make sure you are having your LinkedIn updated. Also follow hashtag GHC 2020 and Anita Borg so that, you know, you are aware of what posts are rolling on in LinkedIn and you can connect to those recruiters uh, who are who will be visiting because I have seen that, you know, people post that, okay, I will be coming to GHC. I'm excited to hire for this, this position. So if you have seen that post beforehand, you can connect with that person and already you have, you know, that you're, you are in that person's mind. So better than you can go, go to GHC and then follow up with them. So it will, it is always beneficial to, you know, connect with pe people beforehand rather than, you know, waiting in the queue and going and talk talking to them. Apart from that, the second important thing is resume. So make sure that your, your resume is a one-page resume and you have your uh, 
skills highlighted so like there will be a lot of people you know uh, coming and talking to a recruiter but not a person will not remember everything so make sure that you know in your resume you are have, having things highlighted for example i was a uh, proficient in sql python and other tools so i made sure that i'm highlighting those things in my resume so that you know the recruiter can just pass it and you know he will know that okay this person is proficient in this is and i have a position which required these kind of skills so make sure that you are doing that with your resume uh, highlighting things so that it's easy it's readable and another thing i would say that you know make sure that you are having your elevator pitch ready because you will be uh using that hundreds of time in a day so make sure you know you are having it crisp in your tongue like whenever a person asks you you should be able to you know say it without any uh, hesitation and the third last and it is one of the most important thing which is usually ignored is attending after parties so gnc is 9 to 5 and after that you will have you know many of the companies organizing their after parties in uh, one of the clubs or in some hotels or restaurants so make sure you're attending that because you will see a lot of recruiters and you know people uh, managers uh, hanging out there and you can just go there casually have conversation with them which is pretty helpful and it was helpful for me as well so you know when we are going and talking to a person just ask them that if you know if there is any after party after gsc so that you guys can attend and you know network there as well and you might land up an opportunity i love it those are great tips with LinkedIn, resume, you know, utilizing all those opportunities to get connected with people while you're there in person. So one more thing I would like to say is that whatever companies you guys are targeting for job, make sure that you're doing a lot of research about it. You should have, you know, the positions uh, what which positions you are interested in, make sure you have written on written about it. And whenever you're approaching any recruiter or any manager, you should you should have that okay, I'm interested in this position and this is what I have and this is what will make make me a part so are you interested you know in my profile or something like that it shouldn't be like the rec- you should not ask recruiter that okay do you have something for me you should be like okay i have i am interested in this position would you like to go ahead with me so that should be one thing and one more thing for international students especially that we have this uh, sponsorship issue as well so make sure that you are doing research at which companies are sp- uh, sponsoring so that you would just approach those companies only rather than standing in queue for other companies which are not sponsoring so you can save a lot of time like that yeah it's important you do the hard work and make it easy for the recruiters and then when you do that research you're going to save time not waste your time and be more strategic and efficient so yeah i love that suggestion bobak i'd love for you to share your story how you kind of did that linkedin hustle beforehand like you did you 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 know got your profile ready you connected you sent messages you followed those hashtags and then what did that lead to actually when you were there in person at the conference sure so like uh, i i guess reached out to 200 to 300 people saying that you know i'm attending gnc i would love to meet you in person i'm attending interested in these these positions but out of that i guess only four to five responded to me but that was fine and then uh, once they responded every morning i used to uh, before you know going to uh, the career fair center i used to message them that hey are you going to be at the boot day uh, i would love to meet you in person so that's how you know i fo- kept on following up with them that hey did you reach orlando hey are you attending the boot today at what time will you be there i would love to meet you in person so that's how you know you build a connection and then i actually meet uh, two to three recruiters like that uh, like i connected on linkedin and then i used to follow up that okay are you there on the booth i would love to meet you and then i met them and one of the recruiter gave me the uh, invitation uh, for the after party that's where i connected with a lot of uh, directors and you know vp level people over there and coincidentally um, the next day when i went for the interview the person who was sitting in front of me i met him earlier at the after party itself So you know that's how it helps like try to build the connection cultivate that collect connection you know keep on following up with them make sure that they remember you and then meet them in person and then definitely they will only you know they also approach to you that okay we have something after party would you love to attend or if they they are not approaching you go and you know go ahead that ask them that is there anything you know after party kind of a thing or uh, do you have any positions can you please review my resume that kind of thing so that will help you definitely So our chat question for this video, let us know in the comments is what type of job role are you looking for? 
go ahead and share in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what kind of job roles everyone's looking for, uh, especially at the GHC or other online conferences. But maybe you guys can connect and help each other out. So let us know in the comments what kind of job role you guys are looking for. Now, Bhavika, do you have any other just fun memories or experiences that would be fun to share from your previous GHC? Sure. So I remember that it was like a second or third day of our GHC and we were totally tired after, you know, roaming around in the career fair center from nine to five, talking a lot. Then we were just roaming around. We were going to going back to our stay and uh, in between we saw a huge line, you know, in front of our club. So we were just like, we were like, okay, what's going on there? So we went there and we saw that it was an intuit party going on. And then we like, you know, we also joined the line and then we got a chance to attend that party and it was really cool. We like, there were so many people dancing around, hanging out here and there. And it was like, you know, after the hustle and bustle of the day, it was, you know, the break which we needed and we got it and which helped us for the next day. Like, okay, we were fresh enough to, you know, kickstart another day with the same thing, like nine to five, stay in, uh, stand in line, talk. But that was a pretty good break, which we got. And I would definitely encourage everyone to, you know, take a break when you're in GNC, rather than, you know, just being stressed after going home also, just looking for jobs and stuff. I would recommend that you should take a break, something like that, so that you're motivated uh, for the next day. This after party wasn't just other students, but it was recruiters, top senior level positions in tech yes. companies, right? Yeah. And you guys are all there dancing on the dance floor. Yeah, and it was pretty like, we never felt that, okay, that person uh, dancing beside me is, you know, senior software engineer or is a director. That person is like pretty chill. That person is also hanging out there. So it's pretty cool to, you know, uh, like be friends rather than, you know, network every time thinking about networking, networking, just, you know, chill out a bit, uh, hang out with someone like a friend and then that might can, that well, then you can network and that might can, you know, lead to some opportunity. You never know. Yeah. And networking is really about the relationships, those real yes. connections, sharing those experiences. And that's what's going to stand out to people versus just being a random stranger online. So those things can really help. Now let's talk about virtual. We know this year GHC is going to be virtual, lots of other conferences and career fairs. Um, you had a recent experience, so please share briefly about that and maybe some things that people could learn and think about for doing this virtually. I remember I attended one of the conferences virtually. So there it was like you will have a dashboard wherein you have, you will have all the companies. So you just have to and uh, click the, the company's name and you'll enter into a meeting room wherein you will have, you know, uh, recruiters and uh, managers interacting with the students. I'm not sure how GHC will be, but make sure that you guys are looking up to uh, the session which they will have they will have before so that you will have, you know, pretty good idea about how virtually the GHC will be working. And the one good part about GHC being virtual is that you guys will have, you know, opportunity to attend the events which last year we didn't have we wasted, we have to stand in line to you know talk to recruiters because of which we are not able to attend the other interesting events which were going on simultaneously so this time you have this great chance to you know like you don't have to stand in line so make sure that you are know, <laughs> attending other events and uh, just explore what all uh, things are going out, what all advancements are going out in technology and how women are contributing towards it so that will really help you to mot uh, motivate yourself. So I would really recommend that, that, you know, make use of this virtual conference, not to just get jobs, but, you know, make sure that you're exploring other events as well, because they are pretty good. Yeah, I've seen a lot of questions online on Facebook and stuff where people are still confused about GHC, like how to upload your resume, how to get into queues. You know, there's all these dashboards and really great systems. Mm -hmm. So make sure, read the emails, read the website, read the instructions, because you don't want to miss out. They're trying to make it as easy and technology savvy for you guys, but yeah. you have to know ahead of time, practice, plan ahead. And if you don't have all those things in place with your resume and your profile and your signed up and in the queue, you're going to miss out. So you don't want to be figuring out the day of. Practice those things, prepare them, you know, test them with your friends, and then you're ready to go when it actually counts at the actual GHC, which is one month from now. Bhavika, anything that you've just learned from online virtual communications with your job or things that would be helpful for people who are going to be kind of experiencing this virtual networking recruiting situation? Uh, so like uh, while uh, during my job itself, we are having everyday meetings and stand up. So that's where I realized, you know, that when you are speaking, just, you know, speak a bit slow. Uh, 
allow a person to you know uh, understand what you are speaking and make sure that you are following up with them like okay uh, uh, did you get it like something like that that okay i did this this task so did you get what i uh, saying so make sure that you know you are subtly doing that that whatever you are speaking this person in front of you is able to understand it the way you want to and uh, yes be louder a bit because there are times when you know uh, the person might not be able to hear and uh, and also make sure that before starting a conversation make sure you are clearing out that okay can you hear me clearly if they say yes then go ahead with the conversation rather than you know starting with your elevator pitch or something just up front make sure that they are able to see your video or they are able to hear you clearly then only you are starting once you have that kind of and GHC besides just a great conference and networking is a lot like a job fair there's going to be recruiters you you're going to get the on the spot interviews so the whole goal again is to stand out so again think about what everyone's doing and try to be different You know, yes. these people imagine they're going to have dozens, hundreds of conversations every day on the computer. How can you stand out? How can you be different? How can you connect? How can you make them feel special? How can yeah. you focus on the recruiter and be a friend for them? Ask them good questions rather than just talking about yourself. Check out yeah. the other videos we have on Shine Coaching as well about job fairs, recruiting, talking to, um, to recruiters. We got some great tips that, that are really going to apply to these virtual conferences. Babaka, I learned so much. Um, your experience sounded so much fun. Uh, I think there's definitely going to be pros and cons this year to a virtual GHC and other online conferences. But I think if people prepare well, they can have a great time and maybe yeah. walk away with jobs just like you guys did. Yes, definitely. So thank you so much, and uh, this is going to help a lot of people out. Yeah, I hope so. All the best, everyone who is attending GHC. Definitely, and yeah, if this was helpful, give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Babaka. And don't forget to connect with us online. Um, if you guys have questions, look up the people on LinkedIn that have GHC 19. Ask them questions, and then connect with the GHC 20 people on LinkedIn. Make sure that's in your headline. Use the hashtags. Don't forget to subscribe to Shine Coaching. We want to keep helping you guys be successful in your cross-cultural journeys. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.